Okay, everybody, got something a little different than what I normally have for you. Um, I decided to do an iLife vacuum video. I really love these vacuums. I was one of the early adopters of Roomba. Um, I think I was first in the area to actually get one, or at least as far as I know. And um, uh, Roomba, and that was years ago. And, you know, I liked them, but uh, they had their quirks and so on and so forth. And a couple years ago, my wife and I uh, ventured out. We found the iLife company and tried one of their robots. We loved it. It worked great. Worked better than the Roombas, in our opinion. And then um, after having, well, four different Roombas, five, excuse me, uh, one of them, I, <laughs> uh, the first one I forgot to count, um, and they had different quirks and we used them for different things and then they eventually got beat up and just didn't work anymore. Um, we had found an iLife vacuum and uh, an A4S and uh, we still use it to this day. Uh, the A4S has worked great for us for years. Uh, we ended up purchasing a couple different iLife products and haven't had to, you know, buy as many as the other brands. But um, now we've now we've actually bought more just because uh, we end up going through a bunch of them. Um, we have a iLife V5 Pro S. Um, it's a vacuum and mopping robot. They have uh, different ones that have just vacuuming and some have brushes. We have uh, two iLife A4S uh, vacuums with brushes. Um, we have two ShineBots. Uh, one is a W400, a W450. And then we have, uh, and they have different features, uh, the W400 and W450. Um, not that different, just uh, one slightly more advanced. Um, this is an iLife T10S. Um, I'll try and get that on there. there. I'll give it a second to focus. There we go. All right, iLife T10S. Um, what you can see here is this is the battery cover. Um, it's a lithium ion battery. We found you don't really need to replace those. They've worked great in all of the iLife products we've gotten. Um, they sell replacements on AliExpress, and you can find them in different places, maybe Amazon. But um, it's not something you go through a lot like the Roombas. The Roombas, you're running through batteries, or at least we used to be, um, with the old nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, but that's not a problem with these robots. They're, these tend to be excellent as far as battery life and battery you know, recharging and... Um, run cycles of batteries. Um, the underside of the robot has, you know, your charging ports, the, uh, the normal wheel, this pops out of here for cleaning. Um, your cliff sensors as per usual. All the normal stuff, your, your brush. Brush section here to, you know, take out when you get it clogged with hair. My wife has long hair, so that happens. Um, I don't really have any hair. Uh, being a bald man, so that, you know, that happens or it isn't really a concern for me. One thing that I found interesting about this robot, us having older iLife uh, robots as far as the vacuums are concerned, are older Roombas and older iLife vacuums, if, you, if you're used to older ones, have screw-in side brushes. These are not screw-in. I was kind of surprised at that. They pop off. Um, they just pull and they're friction fit with a little uh, nub down there. And one is red and the other is green. Um, they're marked, color coded. They're, they're marked left and right. Uh, it's pretty hard to mess it up, and you just put them on and press. Uh, when you get the robot in the box, they are not on, so you need to put them on yourself. But you know that only takes a second because all you do is press them on, and that works fine. Uh, wheels on iLife products we find to last a very long time. We've never had to replace wheels. Um, they don't just grind up like the Roomba wheels used to. That's nice. They're, they're soft, but they're not, um, they don't wear down very quickly. And of course, your dustbin back here, which is a multi use dustbin. Take out the it, dust box. <laughs> well, as you can see, it just spoke. Um, it has a bit of a voice to it. Um, but the dustbin has a water inlet for its mopping function, and which drips water down. And then it has a, uh, a vacuum emptying and you know filter area here. Uh, it goes in and out nice and smooth. 
Of course, it's not going to go in and out nice and smooth the time I do it. Oh, it's because I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it upside down, maybe? No. There we go. Okay, so it just said that I replaced the dust box. Okay, um, as far as buttons on here, there's really not much. Um, you can see there's, you know, just the dust bin, front bumper, which you know, goes in and out like usual. And then these two buttons. Um, that's about it. Um, this is a little radar sensor. It doesn't pop up and down. It just stays there. You leave it there. That spins. You see it. It does an excellent job mapping. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, now what comes in the box? Obviously your robot, the main body. Like I said, those brushes aren't hooked on yet when you get it, but you get four of them. So they give you a replacement one of each left and right, which is nice. Um, they give you the mopping pad and the mopping accessory, which you hook on the bottom of the robot. Um, pretty simple, it just goes in the back here. Nothing complicated. And then, you know, you can take it off pretty easily. Just there's tabs, these blue tabs, they press in and that's how you get it in and out. That's easy. They give you two mopping cloths, which you can usually find these on AliExpress pretty cheap. Um, even straight from their store, possibly. Uh, I don't know if they have them for the new model. This is a brand new model that, uh, well, we, I had just got ShineBots and got into upgrading our vacuums and saw that this model got released. So we jumped on it to go ahead and buy it since we like their products and we wanted to upgrade. It's a self-emptying vacuum. Um, that's what this little port is back here, or actually right here. And um, connects up to this base here. Uh, you get the base in the box, of course. The base already has a bag pre-installed, as you can see here, which is real simple. It just slides in and out with this little uh, little tab here. And when you lift it up to pull it out, it closes it so you don't get dust all over the place, which is a nice little feature. And then you can just place it in, and as you press down, it'll press down and open it up in there. It fits in there nicely. This base, um, I've noticed that this little light is on regularly um, when charging and so on and so forth. I think it helps the robot find the base, which, you know, is fine. Um, doesn't bother me or anything like that. It's got its two charging points here that it backs up against. And a little tab that it sort of sets in there, sets into here. And then the bottom part, there's a rubber seal for when it sucks the dust out. Uh, as far as what else comes in the box, you get a extra filter with the extra little uh, foam filter with it. There's already one installed of each in the robot. You get a little uh, brush and razor tool to cut hair from the main brush. This is, you know, useful. It's I like to use a razor blade. Um, this has a little razor blade on it, but, you know, teach their own, whatever is more comfortable for you to use. If you don't have anything, this is excellent. It comes with one extra bag besides the one that is installed, so you get a total of two bags. They say they last about 60 days. I really don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. I've only, you know, just gotten the robot. It's not a, a major thing, but um, I will say that uh, we actually, this is the second one. Um, we went right out and bought a second one. We've been using one for a couple days. Um, it works great uh, when it work, you know, when it empties and stuff. It's been working fine. Um, and then, of course, the user manual in a couple different languages. But uh, it doesn't give you a whole bunch of information on the app, but it gives a general idea of you know what you need to do to sign up for the app. The app is the remote for the robot, so that's you know something to keep in mind. You're going to want an Android or iOS device of some sort, something like that, to uh, take care of the robot with. Uh, Again, I know this is, you know, not my normal videos. It's just I really like the iLife products. And then I'll get to, you know, one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and make the videos. Um, all right. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. Uh, sorry, I'm looking over my notes because I wrote a few things down to make sure that I knew, uh, you know, what I wanted to talk about with it. Because I know that this isn't my normal standard of thing, but I, at the same time, I was trying to relay what I've learned about it, like you know, like I would with all my videos, like I would to my friends and stuff. So, here we go. Um, all right, um, if it's cleaning and it's 
finishes or isn't finished with uh, what you have mapped as your, you know, that floor that it can get to, um, it'll come back to the base and recharge and then go back out and finish, um, which uh, it'll pick up where it left off, uh, which I think is great. Um, that's always been a problem of, you know, other robots that I've had, the older ones. Once they die, you end up inevitably having to, you know, drag them out from underneath a bed or underneath a sofa or something that they got stuck under because they, you know, their battery died and it's always in the worst place. So you have to go find them all the time. Well, this one, that's not an issue. Even finding it isn't an issue. Not that um, it would be, but if for some reason you can't find it in the app, there's a find my robot and it'll talk to you and tell you where it is. It'll, you know, call out to you. Um, when it maps, it maps quickly. It's on its first run, it runs through and runs through your rooms. And to give you an idea, um, we live in a pretty big old house, uh, you know, near 100 year old house. And I have seven rooms set for it to do on the first floor. It can finish them all in one charge, which to me is amazing. But it mapped it all in about an hour and in surprising detail. I could pick out where furniture pieces were and, you know, uh, different aspects of my home um quite easily in the map and you can zoom by pinching and zooming and you know expanding the picture it does a great job i, I expected it to take a long time to map it you'll see this radar thing going and it it really is just forming the map as you go and you can watch it form the map if you want in the app it it just goes quickly um and like say if it can't get to say room six of seven Maybe if that's a room that like a door is closed or something, it'll just continue on and finish up the rest of the rooms that it can get to and then finish its cycle and go back and recharge. Uh, when it does go back and recharge, it docks, it comes, turns around, and backs itself in and docks. And then this, you'll hear a notification that uh, it's going to empty the dustbin. And then you'll hear this start up. And when it starts up, it sounds like a shop vac. It's quite loud. Um, Sounds like a regular vacuum, but it's doing a good job. It's it's sucking very hard out of the dustbin. I was shocked um, that most of the robots I've had in my life, I've had to kind of you know rub my finger along that mesh screen of the uh, above the filter element to kind of get the extra dust off. We live in a rather humid environment, so it, you know I don't want to say it sticks, but it kind of does. Um, not with this robot. It it sucked it all right off that mesh screen. It was you know very very clean when I was done with it, which was excellent. Um, so this is very powerful as far as the vacuum, this, this base here, um, which is great because it keeps it going for the next time. Every couple of weeks, my wife has long hair. As I mentioned, I'll probably have to clean out the brush. Um, there's not much you can do about that, but you know, you just have to unwind the hair. Well, take the razor blade and undo it. It takes about a minute or so. And like I said, every couple of weeks, a minute, that's not too bad, um, for the automation that you're getting out of home cleaning out of this. All right, to give you an idea, my map, um, this is stored in room two of seven. So I have one room to the left on the map, and then the rest of the rooms are to the right. It kind of starts in room two and then um, goes to room one, but it kind of cleans on its way to room one uh, just to make it a more efficient pass so that it has less to do once it gets to room two, which makes sense to me. Um, it, so it doesn't just, you know, if you put room one like far away, it wouldn't just skedaddle right to room one. It would, it'll take a little while to get there. Um, but that's okay because it does a good job. It's not in your way. It's not under your feet. It goes in a uh, path cleaning mode, sort of a zigzag path for the most part, except for avoiding obstacles and things like that. You can also do an edge cleaning or a spot cleaning and things like that, but the, the standard mode is a uh, zigzag type mode, which is way better than the random, less smart mode um, vacuums that, you know, used to exist and the ones I have more experience with that, you know, inevitably end up tangling under your feet whenever you don't want them to and things like that, and you can't really predict where they go. This one, you can kind of pay attention to where it's going, which is nice, so it's you're not tripping over it. Um voice notification it says things like starting cleaning things like that you can turn that off there's a do not disturb mode which you can turn off and on uh, so that it doesn't talk to you which is nice um, scheduling you can schedule it to do a certain room at one time so another room at another time you can schedule days of the week you can schedule it down to the minute as far as when it starts 
Um, it it does a really good job as far as that's concerned. Um, I found the scheduling to be eight hours off currently. I think that's just um, maybe it needs to reset with the app some. Uh, I've had smart devices do that before, and um, then you know a week or two later they just start working on time. So not too worried about that. Um, for now, I just do the math and adjust eight hours back. Right now, um, I live in a Eastern U.S. time zone, so it's minus eight hours. Um, but it once I figured that out, it was you know worked on time. I am talking to customer service about that, so they're probably going to be pushing out an update quickly. That's another thing I wanted to speak of: customer service. I mentioned I had a uh, V5 Pro S. I had broken parts on it that were you know my fault. It's older. I understand, and it was just a mistake. I dropped it, and it kind of caught, and you know broke the hinge lid. I ended up talking to them. They sent me the hinge lid free of charge. I, you know, it was just very nice of them on a robot that was, you know, roughly eight years old. That's not something you get out of a customer service company, especially not in today's day and age. And even the bigger companies, this is, I've, you know, talked to Roomba before and they've, you know, they had sent iRobot and they had sent me a battery when I had got a brand new one and the battery was dead in the box. But other than that, they had, but you know, iRobot was not very helpful with parts or if you try and buy replacement parts are real expensive iLife, you can get them on um, Ally Express rather cheap or direct from their stores or talk to them directly and you can find replacement parts for their robots. It It's excellent. It's an excellent deal. They're a lot cheaper than other ones, but not cheap in a way that they're bad quality. They're excellent quality. Um, I, I just find their robots to work, which is what you want out of robots. You don't want them to have a bunch of quirks that you always have problems with. You just want them to work. It's supposed to make your life easier, not more annoying. Um, let's see here. Oh, when going over carpet, I've noticed um, if it's like a dustier area or something, it'll power up uh, its suction. It'll be more powerful suction. You'll hear it kind of ramp up and be a little bit louder of a vacuum suction. This is the robot itself, not the base, which is nice. It means it's doing kind of a better job. I've had other robots that had kind of dirt detection um, as well. And so that's a nice little feature that I, you know, it mentions that it does it, but I've seen other ones mention it and then it kind of doesn't do it. Um, this does it and it does a great job with it. So I, I really like that. Um, the mopping, um, as I said, you know, you have to put that pad on and then, you know, fill the water, of course, um, water or, you know, they say not to really use cleaners or buy some, you know, certain cleaners. Um, I found some cleaners do an excellent job. You just have to figure out what you're looking for. Um, nothing harsh, nothing sudsy, things like that. You, you're going to leave a residue. And always keep in mind, like, concentrated cleaners. You, for example, a cleaner that I have is a 164 uh, use. So, I mean, a couple drops would fill this thing. Um, and then water, like two drops and then a bunch of water would be more than enough to, you know, add cleaner to it. Um so it's not something you want to dump cleaner into. So don't do that. It, it just doesn't make any sense if you're, you know, vacuuming regularly and using the mop pad regularly. For most people, you're not going to need to worry about cleaner too much or something very light. Um, not like a soap. Uh, use something more designed for floors, things like that, that won't leave a residue and is a no-dry cleaner. Those are, you know, no need to mop up or rinse. No rinse cleaners. Uh, those are important. Uh, as far as mopping you'll see that it kind of has holes here uh, maybe you can't see it i'm not sure it's really hard to see on there um well they're very small they line up you can see it on here they they're just pinholes they line up with these you can choose different drip settings there's sort of a high medium low drip settings it'll drip down onto this pad and having worked with the uh, other model that does the drip pads it kind of works like a Swiffer wet. Um, it'll go around and sort of wet rag mop around the room. Um, what's nice about this though is you can vacuum and do that. You, you can do both at once, which not a lot of them can. Um, there's starting to be more on the market that can. This can do both at once, which is kind of nice because um, it'll just pass and then you know vacuum the front part like, as it's going along it'll vacuum and then it'll be dragging this behind it and kind of wet mopping behind it sort of dust mopping 
Um, I have the shine bots, so I don't really use that. I use a shine bot once a week. Um, that's sort of like a good mopping. And then the vacuum features. Um, I will probably use this now that I have it um, for maybe maintenance for the lesser used areas because the shine bots are a little more, I don't want to say labor intensive, but you know, they just take a little more to do. However, they, you know, for my purposes, they, they work excellently. So I, I think that for a lot of people, this is more than enough mopping. Maybe if you have large pets that are tracking lots of mud or something, you'd want something a little more in depth but for you know people who generally would just swiffer wet or something like that this is this would replace that and you wouldn't have to do it anymore and it takes care of that um with customer service keep in mind you know they may take a day or so to get back to you but they they get back to you they actually answer and they're polite and um they're very friendly and you know that's really appreciated because a lot of companies just kind of blow you off or just have a generic customer service person who doesn't know what they're doing and that's not the case with iLife. They tend to know their products and they, you know, know about them and know, you know, common issues with them and things like that. Um, I'm, not that I've really had issues with them, so that's not too much of a concern. But um, that's the iLife T10S. Like I said, now we have two of them. Um, we replaced our A4Ss and I'm going to move those down to the basement office and basement general area um, to take over for some old Roombas that are beat up and uh, no good and um, you know they I expect to get many years of service out of those still um, I know I've been using like I mentioned that v5 pro s for many years and um, for something that we thought was just a you know cheap robot it worked great and then when we got the a4s's they they worked great with our dog hair when we had a dog for a long time and um, you know he passed away but uh that's why we, you know, went ahead and upgraded to these because when they put out a new model, we wanted a self-emptying. My wife had pushed me to that for a long time because I was scheduling them every day. But, you know, you got to gather the robot and then empty it out and make sure that it, you know, empties. Not with this. It finds its way back even from an oddball path so it doesn't get stuck with dead battery. It, it, at about 15% or 20%, it'll make its way back to the base. And you'll see because it'll just sort of shut down not shut down, but uh, shut down its vacuuming feature and stuff, and then just sort of take a beeline back to the base. Um, it'll charge itself up, empty, charge itself up, and then head back out if it needs to. And, you know, I just highly suggest them. They're, you know, you can find them on Ally Express, um, Amazon, the iLife store. Um, I'm not sure if this is on Ally Express yet. I didn't see it on there, but those are the three places I always buy my iLife products from. Um, I've bought from the iLife official store. I've bought a uh, refurbished product, the One Shine Bot. Um, this we bought on Amazon. It was the cheapest price. Um, you know, there's coupons and things on all three sites. I just highly suggest them. Just, you know, get them it's just so much better it's cheaper than other robots but yet at the same time you're getting quality performance out of them um can't recommend them enough all right thank you if this helped you at all hopefully you can uh you know like subscribe things like that i'd love to grow the channel um probably review the other ones that i've mentioned that would be nice um, you know, maybe show what the issues are with the Roombas that I've talked about, but those are, you know, older models. Um, either way, just, you know, like, subscribe, and that would be helped out. Thanks a lot.